known him for quite a while. He was a, a Viper driver back in the day. We ran into him at test pilot school as students. He was in the class uh, behind us. Anyway, so uh, he was first noted for his amazing guitar riffs. <laughs> as, uh, was it Howard off of uh, uh, Big Bang Theory? Oh yeah. That you were, yeah, yeah, yeah. First yeah, yeah. Did the sweet belt buckle and the, you know, the, the turtleneck and all that were amazing. Yeah, so he's got a lot of skills besides you know viper driving. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, great dude, fun to hang out with, and. Uh, uh, on the work side, you may know that he is consistently the top flyer for the test pilot school. Woo! So, uh, uh, he cranks out more student sorties than just about anybody. Well, I think anybody, right? I mean, this this last year, he routinely had you know 20 more sorties than the next uh, highest flying guy, which is usually Evil Bill or myself or. <laughs> One of those guys. Anyway, so he's been a tremendous. <laughs> he's been a tremendous producer uh, for TBS. He's also done some incredible test work. You've probably seen his his uh, photo on the cover of Aviation Week, and uh, we've got it on the wall here in the Hall of Fame. So he's on the wall with guys like you know Buzz Aldrin. No big deal, right? <laughs> so, uh, he's done some amazing things for uh, the test center. Uh, Testing. What did you do? Some global hawk stuff mm -hmm. as well. Uh, so, like some some groundbreaking work with global hawk. Um, and like I said, he's he's done a ton of good things in the Viper and in the 38 for us. Instructed and in just about every mission that we do here. LCO and some of the other like low all over D is kind of an interesting yeah, rack. Tower flyby. Tower flyby. Uh, uh, HQ. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, instructing students in some of the more technical stuff that we teach here and uh, doing it with style. So we definitely appreciate Nova. It's really going to be hard uh, as the ops officer to, to let him go because uh, I don't know how I'm going to replace him, you know, with two airframes. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of in a pinch to see you go. So, <laughs> So, uh, from that perspective, I'm really sad to see you go <laughs> as well. So, <laughs> don't leave, please don't leave. <laughs> anyway, no, but we're we're gonna miss Nova around here. He brings a unique perspective. He's a SoCal boy, right, from just down the down in the valley. So he he brings some local flair. That's always appreciated. <laughs> and uh, anyway, great work, Nova. We appreciate all that you've done. Thanks, man. Uh, we've got a uh, Litho over here. Kind of the standard uh, TPS uh, litho. It's got all kinds of uh, different aircraft that we uh, that we fly around here, or that have flown here at Edwards. And uh, let's see here. Thank you for many years of dedicated dedication to the UTAF uh, test pilot school. How many years you've been here? Uh, three. Yeah. Yeah. I was say that's that's a bunch. Usually we get a guy for a year and a half, two years. So uh, awesome. Got all the all the bros and sisters. Have uh, <laughs> and uh, obligatory coin stuff. So there you go. Congrats, man. Thank you. For your so uh, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, so this uh, this is like not this this is not the first time that I've had a Finny flight when they said uh, like you're you're not coming back. Uh, the first one, uh, for those that don't know, I flew F-16s, and then they said, yeah, you're done with F-16, go to unmanned stuff, and I thought, um, I thought I'd never be back, and, uh, and then slowly but surely, just uh, keep working hard, and I, I work my way back, and this, this has been the, like, the pinnacle of, of basically that, that long amount of, uh, of hard work getting back here. Um, and now, uh, even though the actual flight today wasn't actually a flight, uh, it's uh, it's it's a little bit nicer in that like I know where I'm going and I there's not a uh, there's not a, a question hanging over my head uh, so I've got uh, I'm, I'm gonna go uh, fly with the uh, fly with the Griffins up in uh, Fresno flying the uh, the Mighty Eagle uh, looking forward to that and we're going down to uh, uh, LA to be a uh, an FAA test pilot so uh, even though it kind of it sucks I'm never never gonna fly the Viper again and this time I'm pretty sure I'm never gonna fly the Viper again. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's actually much happier because uh, I know I'm going on to do uh, some great things. So, um, you know, the, 
in, 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 the, in the Air Force, you never really know what's going to happen next, and sometimes what you think is going to happen is not necessarily what happens, and so I guess my, uh, my, my lesson to all these guys over here on this side is, uh, do just have, a, have, have an open mind and uh, be, be ready to just kind of flex with whatever, whatever comes, and usually things end up working out for the best, uh, and if not, just work hard to get back where you're at. Uh, so for the new guys, uh, just keep working hard, and you guys. Uh, yeah. To to my family and friends, guys, thanks for uh, thanks for uh, just being awesome and, and having like kind of keeping me keeping me grounded and uh, and just hanging out and just being great. Like and these. So for those guys that don't know, this table back there is uh, the the oldest friends that I've had. And these guys, these guys go yeah, back so to, to, uh, <laughs> to, to like, all the way back to like elementary, middle, and high school. So these guys, we've been we've been hanging out for uh, forever, and uh, I'm really glad that they're uh, they're here. Uh, that, that, that. And also, um, my parents and uh, and, and in-laws uh, and uh, extended family and cousins and, and uncles and whatnot. Thanks for coming out. Like you know, it's uh, they don't really get a chance to see this kind of stuff uh, very often, and uh, I'm kind of glad that they got to do it. And I'm glad that they're uh, supporting me uh, through that. And uh, Pim, thanks for uh, uh, dude, thanks for just being a great boss and uh, all the uh, all the other uh, TBSIPs. Thanks for uh, uh, just being great coworkers. You guys make it uh, make it fun around here. Uh, and then. Last but not least, uh, Katie, um, it's been uh, it's been it's been a crazy year or, or two, right? So <laughs> this time this time last year we we just gotten married and we had no idea what was going to happen with like the whole uh, what you know follow on jobs. Like in in the last year, we've each gotten uh, she's gotten a new job. I've essentially been hired for two new jobs, uh, moving to different locations and everything like that. And so it's been uh, it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. But uh, but she's been awesome and, and steadfast, and we've been there to support each other throughout it. So uh, uh, I couldn't have, couldn't have done it without you, and I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to all the stuff that's uh, that's going to happen for us, big adventures uh, for the rest of our for the rest of our lives. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay, I just want to give for those, and I apologize to those that I've already told this story, which I've done a few times, but I do want to tell you that in World War I, my grandfather was in the Signal Corps. That was the precursor to the precursor, and he traveled to the Pacific Northwest to buy lumber, lumber, to build airplanes. So that was the first. Then my father was in the Army Air Corps. He wanted to fly but he had vision problems, so they didn't allow him. So when Jeremy first got interested, which we think might have been when you were 11 years old and you first came out here to Edwards, and I then had a friend who was a pilot at the time, or a friend of a friend who was a pilot at the time, and he took a poster or picture of the, the B-2 at the time was the new, the, new, the new vehicle, and he autographed it and he said on there, um, Study hard and do well, and maybe someday you'll fly one of these too. And that hung in his bedroom for years <coughs> before he decided that he wanted to go to the Air Force Academy. Then the rest of it, I think you guys probably all know, but we are so, so proud of you, Jeremy. I just wanted everybody to know a little bit of history about how you got here. And, and, and again, I apologize because I know I told, I told your, your friends that, but you guys, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. And I just hope you all have as much success as, as my little boy. Later. All done. Congratulations, you're so successful. We love you. Thanks for inviting us.